What up, fam? It's your boy, G Ridge. I got some red snapper here today for you and some croaker fish. It's going down on this, this Throwdowns Tuesday or Tell God All About It Tuesday. Yes, sir. Listen, fam, you see how big this red snapper is? I had them to cut it up in fillets because it was so big. That huge red snapper was $40, $50 by itself. So I had to cut up into four sections. But I also have two big size, nice size croakers too. Okay. And we're gonna go ahead and pan fry this thing up. I'm have I'm gonna mix some grits also with it. We're doing some fish and grits today. Yes, sir. Nice, quick, and simple. I'm not even gonna have any grits. I'm just gonna eat me some. That's the croakers right there, fam. I'm gonna eat me just a big, nice, juicy piece of red snapper on some bread. Stick with your boy. All right, so here come the ingredients, fam. This is what you're going to need. What we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and, you know, I make my own batter. I'm going to make my own fish batter. We need some garlic powder, some salt, some lemon pepper seasoning, some body of seafood seasoning, one full cup of right there of uh, all-purpose flour. And to the right, right there, that's one. Uh, that's going to use, I'm going to probably use half of that. That's going to be about three tablespoons of cornmeal. I'm not gonna use the entire thing, okay? About three tablespoons of cornmeal. All right, so we're going in and see that? I, I, I modified it a little bit. I, but I was like, oh, what am I doing? This would be a little too grainy in there, okay? Two tablespoons of lemon pepper seasoning, two tablespoons of the seafood seasoning, two tablespoons of garlic powder, and only one tablespoon of salt. All right, that's all you're going to need. You're going to mix it up. Mix it up real good. And then we're going to coat the fish. And the rest is history. Okay, fam, now that the oil should be good and the pan should be good and hot, look at that. Nicely coated, look at that big piece of snapper. That's all me. Yeah, sir. Look at that cover, look at it. That's a huge skillet and look how it covers it. You can't get two of those side, that size in the pan together. All you're gonna do is you're gonna smother it and then it's gonna cause the fish to become mushy. So I advise you, if you get a red snapper of that size, to fry it single by itself. Look at that. It took me two different utensils to try to flip that sucker. <laughs> yes, sir. There it is. And then, you, you know, when, once it gets crispy and a little harder, then you can flip. You might you can use maybe one utensil. But that thing there is heavy and it's full of meat, fam. Stick with your boy.
All right, look at that, fam. Nice, crispy. Look at that. Ooh, wee. So we're gonna go ahead and sit this sucker to the side over there on the drip or the um the rack right there, the drip rack, and then we're gonna go in with the the other side of the red snapper, and then I'm gonna follow it by the two croakers and then the um the the back part of the red snapper. I got those broken into two halves. Okay. All right, we're gonna keep it moving. All right, so now we're going in with the croakers. They, as you can see, they're pretty nice size as well, but you definitely can get two of those in at one time. All right, so that's those are the back of the red snapper cut in half. And you know, the two on the left, those are the red snappers, yep. And these two right here are the croakers. Nice thick. They cover the whole pan. Look at that. Ooh, wait. And here's my finished plate. Bam. Mama. There goes that man. I love y'all to life. G-Rich out. In your mind. Bye, y'all.